Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Eagles and the Packers on Sunday night primetime. The playoffs are back at Lambeau, and the Timps, well, they're where you would expect them in the frigid range. Just how the cheeseheads like it here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. But just ahead, we'll decide the second entry to next week's NFC title game. And we've got a great one in store, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. All in all, he was pretty solid in the victory in the wild card round and threw a couple of touchdowns. And when it comes to quarterback play, you'd always love spectacular. But in the playoffs, you'll take solid. And that's exactly what they're looking for from him again in this contest. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Once again, it's Swift. He juked, and now off to the races, down the right side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Hurts to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now hang on here because DeAndre Swift injured on that last play and in need of a little assistance. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run with a veteran here. It's Rashad Penny. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Second and seven. Hurts. Pass incomplete. Nice play on the football. The ball was tipped in the air and made everyone a little bit anxious before falling to the ground. You just know defensive players are taught to knock the ball to the ground. But early in games, emotions come into play. Nerves come into play. And despite the training, the ball was tipped up. Fortunately for them, they didn't pay for that error. Penny, the first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the gun, a give to Penny. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Not the touchdown they wanted, but hey, you're on the road in the playoffs. They did get three on the board. Yeah, it's a good opening drive, so you feel good about it yourself. You get to the sidelines. The defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate. The team, yeah, they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoffs and getting points on the board right away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. 
Leading him out, a player whose Hall of Fame case will probably be debating in a handful of years. He's over 60,000 career passing yards. Matt Ryan. And you have to figure that this is a confident quarterback who gets the start here. Coming off of a victory in round one, team doesn't have to travel. They get another home game here in the divisional round. And I know it sounds cliche, but playing at home, huge for a quarterback, huge for his team. They want to take advantage of it. Here's Ryan. Got his man. That's Luke Musgrave. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. This now a third and four. Now Ryan. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down in a nice little game. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Again, it's Jones. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. From midfield now, here's Ryan. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And inside give to Jones. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now it's Ryan. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle's going to leave him about a yard or so short. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. A short throw to Musgrave, and he is going to have a Packers first down. Good work there on fourth and one. They get seven to move the chains. They'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. He's going to pick up a six. Brings up second and four. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Brings up third down and six. Now it's Ryan. That's to the right sideline. And it falls incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. And this one is right down the middle, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. This taken in right around the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. But first down, Hurts. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 3-3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and ten. Throwing his hurts. Buying time to his left. Able to slither by. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. Hurts sets up to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Watkins. And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. 
brings up second and four at the 37 yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, he went that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And they run the option here on first and 10. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Holding offense. They get Lane Johnson, the number four pick back in 2013. Back to throw again. Oh, and that is incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. They'll set up a throw. Going for the deep ball. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. A big play there for Philly. 41 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Back to throw here. And it's caught. And he's brought down. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. Penny. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Now Ryan. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Ryan. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The lies move there, look like nobody open. Now second down. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Now hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Here's Ryan to throw. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. From the shotgun, Ryan. Quick slant to Watson. 
Well, that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. They go back to the ground with Jones. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. That one caught downfield by Watson. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson, 33 yards. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Anders Carlson now for the point after. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. And for them, maybe a little carryover from last week's game. They got the win on the road in the wild card round, on the road here again in the divisional round, but they're hanging tight. Hey, cue a little music, right? Well, yeah, on the road again. I mean, this has been kind of the mantra they're under right now, and they can't change it. The season dictated what would happen with them, right? They had to go on the road for the first round for the playoffs. They're on the road again, and sometimes teams get really comfortable with that. Not only the idea of going on the road and shocking the world, but just, hey, it's just us. We don't have to worry about outside distractions. It's just us. Let's go play. It becomes that us against the world mentality, doesn't it? And while it may be overplayed, you know, in the media, it's real when it comes time to play ball. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time. But it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now back to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Hurts trying to hurry up the offense to throw again on second down. Hurts. Outrun pass complete to Goddard. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Hurts to throw. Man open left side is Brown. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Back to back incompletions. And it was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards. And they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles. A 
a great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, this Coach, has certainly thanks. been a fun yeah, one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle. What's been a we have not been disappointed. Battle to this this point. is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering, how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to get a little joint of confidence moving forward. Here comes third in the length of the football. Ryan now off the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack and it leads to fourth. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Here's Ward to return. Oh, good move. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now second and three. They'll set up to throw. It's caught. Smith. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run here with Swift. Oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Here's the veteran punter Lee as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Throwing left side and Watson has it. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They go play action now. Ryan. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Play action, Ryan. Oh, well, this is taken in, and 
that's complete. And they get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Bogart, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. To throw again is Ryan. And this is caught. Touchdown, Packers. Christian Watson with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers are an extra point away from drawing level. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that will level the playing field at 17 all. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as it kicks away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. They go play action with Hertz. This is Smith with a grab. Now he's loose down the left sideline. A big play there on the catch and run. 76 yards. And what a letdown after a huge play. He's going to pull this in and then set sail for the end zone. And he nearly made it, too. But he's going to be tracked down just short of the goal line. So a big play there that's going to set him up with first and goal at the one-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Swift. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Throwing his hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown from four yards out. And the Eagles have moved out in front. Well, that's just how they drew it up, C.D. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Elliott Good with a P.A.T., and they will take a seven-point lead. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And Christian Watson and the rest of this offense back out now. Last drive, the touchdown, four catches. Really good. He was. They were not good on the other side trying to stop him. What do they need to do? Well, this is where the entire staff has to get involved because we always focus on the defensive coordinator. But he needs help from other people with their eyes and their expertise, and he needs to listen to them. And sometimes you just can't afford to wait on a drive and say, okay, let's get to the sidelines and start over. You need to find a way in the middle of that drive to start taking away what's hurting you. Yeah, in-series adjustments, and how do you do that? Well, what you do is you listen to what everyone else is telling you, what they're seeing, the patterns that are developing, and maybe you just start running extra bodies to take away that particular player. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Now a first down carry by Jones. And across the midfield, strike into Eagle territory. 51 yards rushing for him now to this point. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down at a yard. 
They'll go again to Jones. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Ryan. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. Touchdown, Packers! Jaden Reed, 49 yards. And the Packers have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Carlson's extra point up and good, and that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. We've got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. On the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Second down. Here's Hurts. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. But first down, Hurts. His short throw caught by Goddard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Hurts sets up to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From the gun, it's Hurts. Steps away to his left. they will wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop the throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Well, I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does 
does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And what a pressure spot for both sides, really. But they're at home now. They have the football here in the playoffs, sort of controlling their own destiny. This is a spot they've all dreamed of. This is where you want to be. Home, have the ball, a chance to win the game, control your own destiny, as you noted. But here's the thing. Don't let the crowd get too involved if you're this team now. You've got to make sure you let them carry you, but not cause you to do things out of what you're supposed to do, right? Take you away from focusing and concentrating on the game. Because sometimes you get so amped from the crowd that that can carry you into spots you don't want to be. Is that what you're saying? From experience, sometimes that crowd gets so involved in it and you get involved with them that you end up making plays or trying to do things that maybe you shouldn't have done. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Ryan. That's taken in by Watson. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. On the counter, here's Jones. Shedding the tackle. It gives him some room. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. They'll send a tight end in motion right. Dillon now on first and 10. He's got it to the 43 here. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. And they'll come up second and seven. Off the option, it's Jones. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 79 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Fighting through at the 25. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Second down and a yard. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. Who finds his receiver, Watson? Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone say, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. On first down, Ryan. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Here's second and a yard. Throwing now is Ryan. This is caught. But well, he picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now in this situation, should be a no put together a fourth quarter drive to take the lead. What a game this has been and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. 
Hurts and the Eagles now. Down 31-27. A little over a minute to go. It's got to be a touchdown here, and that won't be easy. On the road, in the playoffs, as they've got it with a first down. He'll look to throw. Finding Watkins, and he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They come up now on second and two. He's back to throw, and that's complete to Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Back to throw. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. They'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. That's what they need right now. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 of the red zone. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. CD, that was an all-or-nothing drive to win this football game, and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments. And how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drive in total eight plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. Now they burn the timeout. And they're kind of in that gray area where they might be able to get two plays in, but maybe just one play left in this ball game. We'll see. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. One last shot for Ryan. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. 
And looking at it from the perspective of the losing side here in this divisional round, it all ends so abruptly, doesn't it? A few hours ago, you've got all this hope and anticipation of maybe a deep run, and now you're out of it.